Alright, so my background is basil cardstock, and I'm going to take different patterns and do some triangles. Um, and this pictures are of Jada. My dad had a kitten that was born while it was cold, and so it wouldn't ever survived outside, so he took it in and, um, bottle fed it, because I don't think the cat that, how did that happen, because maybe the mom wouldn't take care of him, and there was only the one, I don't remember how he, how that came about, but I know he bottle fed it, and took care of it, and the cat followed him anywhere, and so, um, he gave, then eventually he gave the cat to my youngest sister, Heather, and their daughter made this cat, and in these pictures, the kitten, of course, has grown, doesn't even look like the same cat, but regardless, um, she would make it get in her doll bed and doll stroller and She'd cover it with a blanket, and it had to stay there. If it got out, she went and got it. And so, it pretty much, she puts it in there with a blanket, and it just falls asleep. It stays. And my sister recently took a picture, which I took from Facebook. But I don't think, do I, have, I may, may have printed it out. Um, so, I, um. Because I printed out like 225 photos. Yeah. Yeah. I think I printed like another 225 photos. So I have like 500 photos to scrapbook. And, um, and I need to find albums because I got probably two, three hundred layouts that are just stacked in there because I don't have any binders, and I usually get them from Tuesday morning, but they haven't had any in forever. So, at Walmart, they were out of them. So, I want to look again and see and get a few and start putting them into albums. I want to get like a, I have a bookshelf, but I don't have a place to put it in my scrapbook room. But I would like to have like some kind of bookshelf in here to put my albums on so they're easily accessible. So, um, I'm going to you the washi tape is, is from my stash. It come in a kit, oh kit, and I'm gonna use that paper layer. And on the opposite side, it looks like a quilt, and it's pink paisley's, um, or yeah, pink paisley's Paige Evans Horizon. And on the reverse side, the quilt pattern is number fifteen. So I'm looking for something I can use for a photo mat. And so I'm going to use this plus sign pattern. And it's Pink Paisley's Page Evans Horizon. Oh, that can't be, because I have it as number 15, but the other one I had is 15, so no, I don't know. Oh my god. 
and I'm just going to put down my layers. Yeah, yesterday I worked on, I have um, 13 videos that I did this last week, and so I got those um, edited pictures on my, um, I got all of them, pictures and everything on my blog. Those will get published on my blog as soon as they are uploaded to YouTube, but I have to produce them first. I'm trying to catch up on getting everything uploaded and current. <sighs> and then the tags I cut using the stencil. I wanted some tags, but I didn't have none came in the kit, so I made some. And then the die cuts that I'm using, those are Hip Kit Club's Chasing Rainbows. And any of the other embellishments that I use are for my stash. Like those metals. Um, She's all heart. That is the um, crepe paper is all heart. Um, oh, it doesn't. I didn't write down that chipboard sticker. Some. So those are all from my stash. Those are actually, um, I'm pulling from old hip kits. So now I'm going to get my title, which baby kitty, or think happy in the hand are American Crafts Dreamer Thickers and then Baby Kitty are Hip Kit Club's Chasing Rainbows. So I was going to do, I don't know what I was going to do. Oh, maybe I only titled it Baby Kitty. Um, well, anyway, I guess I did. Um, so, no, I didn't. I used the sticker Think Happy above it. That's what I did. Okay. As part of my title. So, when I have more done, I'll be back with those. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.